and now to the moon. India made a historical landing at the lunar south pole just a few weeks ago, a few days after Russia had tried and failed to do the same. Now Japan, which has not yet been able to achieve a soft landing on the lunar surface, is set to launch its attempt to go to the moon. So we might ask what next for lunar exploration? A big goal for Japan's Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, or SLIM mission, will be to land with high precision, hence the lander's nickname, the Moon Sniper. Though the word precise is still a relative one when it comes to guiding a spacecraft down to the lunar surface. If we are talking about precision landing, then we are talking about in the range of 100 to 200 meters precision landing. Other lunar missions have planned landing zones measured in kilometers, but the lightweight Moon Sniper will try to put down within 100 meters of a predetermined target. If it masters that challenge, it'll investigate nearby rocks with a multiband spectral camera and deploy a small, rolling, picture-taking robot nicknamed Sora-Q. If it successfully soft lands on the lunar surface as planned early next year, the SLIM mission will make Japan the fifth nation to do so, joining number four in the club, India. Its Chandrayaan-3 lander successfully put down on August 23rd. Japan and India are now planning a joint project called the Lunar Polar Exploration Mission, LUPEX, or sometimes Chandrayaan-4. It's currently slated for launch in about three years and is supposed to start seriously looking for resources, especially water. The search is mostly for um, conditions on the surface thinking in the long term that there might be a human base of a people living on the moon. All these things are very important because we see the moon as the kind of first stage for exploration of the solar system. But progress toward that goal is slow and success is far from guaranteed. A number of recent attempts have failed to set down safely on the lunar surface, like Russia's recent Luna 25 mission, which was lost before landing. The picture painted points to the engine taking too long and slowing down the spacecraft too much. Instead of descending to a height of 18 kilometers on the surface of the moon, it descended even lower and probably just collided with the surface. Two more missions to the moon could be launched by American companies in the next few months, but safely setting probes down on it is just a prelude to the next big step, returning astronauts to the surface. That's the aim of the Artemis series. Its next mission, Artemis II, is slated to take astronauts back to lunar orbit by the end of next year. Then, in 2025, the Artemis III will try to land them. That, in turn, foreshadows the building of lunar bases, which are in planning by a number of different countries, all hoping to gain a permanent foothold on our closest celestial neighbor.